we have a lot of noise. We have a lot of people that are making uh, all kinds of sort of divergent ideas. It's, it's sort of the early stages of an industry and there are no, not enough big carrying waves that uh, get us sort of through the, uh, the coalescing that an industry needs to get to. Um, lots, of, lots of ideas have not scaled to meet the um, a real impactful change. I mean, if we looked at biofuels in the early days, uh, very, very hard time to scale, but they took a lot of the subsidies away for the market and the desirability by politicians to actually go support secondary and third, uh, third stage solutions. So we're, we're, we're sort of getting into somewhat of a lull in the sort of the trough of disillusionment on some things, and we're going to need to come back to the uh, sort of realism in, in some of the expectations and deliverables. I actually think this sector, in particular energy efficiency, uh, will become one of the first markets that will come out of recession. And the, and the main reason is we're seeing lots of uh, governments uh, putting money into their economies, which is uh, mainly focused on taking future costs and pulling them in into uh, um, sort of an earlier 18-month time period. And nothing better than energy efficiency to sort of prove an, an immediate return within uh, within five six years on on these kinds of projects. Anything that uh, you really want to stimulate your economy needs to be in effect a replacement of money that would come out of your market, for example, importing oil, by putting a project that would create local manufacturing or local services, but giving you the same kind of service. For example, electric miles instead of gasoline miles. If, if you got that kind of a, of a closed loop in a sense that I'm taking a product that would otherwise be an import and replacing it with a product that is locally manufactured, you really stimulate your economy. Um, if you just spend money in the sense of, uh, of sort of creating something that is not necessarily would have, otherwise would have not been purchased, then you're not stimulating the economy. And there's a very big difference between spend and stimulate. We are a very big infrastructure project that's shovel ready that eliminates the need for, uh, for oil dependence, cuts on, on emissions in a very substantial way, and generates jobs also in the automotive sector. And there are very, very few countries that don't need everything on this list. So obviously, uh, while the sort of the standard capital formation has, has definitely changed, the alternative capital formations, in particular governments, uh, have, um, have really come up to, to become a, a major source for our ability to grow and execute. We're now having governments that are actually offering us to pay for the infrastructure or pay a significant proportion of the infrastructure uh, in order to get the, the benefits of what we bring to the table and that has changed drastically since, uh, since the last year. Well, you, you cannot have a smart grid without storage. I mean, it's, it's a, one of the, the, the biggest misconceptions is that all we need is to just route the electrons the right direction and everything will be cool. It, we have to remember that there is a sort of a finite capacity of absorbing intermittent electrons, wind in particular. Um, and if you don't have storage, it's very hard to take all the wind power at any time of the day with this kind of a sort of up-down um, swing that happens with wind. And it's, it's an up-down swing of you know, every minute, not, not every hour. You can't plan this on an hourly basis. Uh, the best way to do it is to put batteries. And if you have uh, batteries on the grid and you don't need to buy them just for storage, just for the grid, it becomes a very profitable way to actually replace coal with wind. If you have no batteries, it becomes significantly more expensive to actually have wind um, on your grid. So people need to think, stop thinking of projects as, as slivers. A wind farm, electrification, um, battery exchanges, but start to put everything in one integrated project. And when you put everything in sort of a single unified integrated project, all the projects make sense. This one plus one equals 10 in a sense.